I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the coroner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Brand name might give us something to go on. How's the world looking? Ah, always the same through a viewfinder. How about you? Denzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Happier times, I guess. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. I don't think so. Doc? Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckoned I'd take a shortcut. See anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister?
Tell the truth, Mr. Wilkie. You rifled the wallet. My money is my money. You can't prove I touched that wallet. Man does the right thing, and the police try to turn him into a criminal. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Phelps, we're not done yet. Keep searching. This scene is a mess. Could have been a dozen different crimes committed down here with all the bows hopping freights. Get back here, Phelps. We're not done yet. Keep searching. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Not much help. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. So, what do we tell the wife? We play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Any sentry unit of 415 possible metal case at 7th and Flower, unit to handle code 3, identify. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Well, obviously, someone got a little heavy-handed. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. You got something there, folks. Doesn't add up. Read about the guy on the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. <laughs> he pops the hood and he's on a rail crossing. <laughs> oh, you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil and the Southern Pacific Freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. <laughs> what a pointless waste of life. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity with the traffic. And who needs a Second Amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, folks. Evidence will only... This is car 11K. We'll handle the 415. 11K, your 415 is at the Alaco station. Oh, oh my goodness, did somebody call the police? What's wrong with that guy? 
You're the one who's been sending cosmic rays into my room. I'll show you. Yes, sir, you're not going to control my thoughts anymore. Just calm down, sir. You liked that, wouldn't you? Somebody stop it. Give it up, LAPD. Get that away. Put your hands in the air. Don't make me chase you! You don't understand. Someone has to stop the Venusians. Sir, step out of the car, please. Oh, LAPD. Let's go introduce ourselves. We talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. No, <laughs> you're gonna kill someone! Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Uh, we can discuss this in the living room. 
Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that OK? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. I don't think this is any use to us. No use leaving the thing half finished. I can't be right. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. I wonder if someone in the house bought this unit knowing how they would use the parts. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. A 
used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks, ma'am. Lie down, make yourself... Doesn't look like anything. I don't think this is going to help us. I'm all right now, detectives. This doesn't pertain to the case. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. 
No. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about 7. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, detective. You know the way. You can drive. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. No, you don't.
What are we waiting for? You looking for someone? In better days. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? I can't have a quiet drink on his own anymore. When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. If he was on his way to meet you when he went missing, you're going to have to do a lot better than I don't recall. He had a couple and then left, I guess. Maybe he had to go meet someone. That's the best I can do. This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. That ought to do it. Now get back in close. He sure left his drink in a hurry. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Thanks, Cole. Give him some room. Uh, too close, Phelps. You're way too close.
Where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? 105 North Avenue. Check the place out. Come on. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was nonstop glamour work in traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. It won't work on me. Apartment two. All right, let's pay our friend a visit, see if he's missed us yet. Who the hell is that? Will you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black? I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. There's no point running, Adrian. Mr. Black, get back here right now. It's over, Adrian. Stop right there, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. That turned out to be... Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs, says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good, get going. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. Well, you don't see that every day. So, you gonna see your married man again? An abandoned vehicle. You catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. You hear about Adrian? The broad in Seattle threw him out. Why you say she's gonna take him back? Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. 
Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. I doubt it. Empty. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Taking the flag as a souvenir can't have any street value. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. A car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Circumstantial. Jacob's guy has to say. The car was dumped in his backyard after all. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard dealership. 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thank you. Oswald Jacob.
That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. How do you know there were three of them? It was dark. It must be 50 feet from the kitchen to the car. You telling me I'm lying? I was wearing my glasses. They had the headlights on. I'd say I was a dang sight more observant than you, son. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. 
Any messages? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks for your help. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. It's a stolen car, not the Lindbergh baby. What more do you need to know? We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. It's owned by the Argentinian embassy. Empty. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. A car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse.
Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. How do you know there were three of them? It was dark. It must be 50 feet from the kitchen to the car. You telling me I'm lying? I was wearing my glasses. They had the headlights on. I'd say I was a dang sight more observant than you, son. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Scratching around in that book won't prove nothing. You should show me some respect. That's enough for now. Remember, Jacob, it's an offense to obstruct a criminal investigation. Let's hope you've given us everything. Jacob's dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked up. You curious what he didn't want us to see? Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. I think we've rung this place dry. Let's find a game well. I've done the right thing and answered all your questions. Now quit sweating on me and go get those boys. You coming? We need a game well, Phelps. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? 
Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Messages for me, please. There's just one message for you, detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your call. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. INS officer needs help. 333 South Main Street. 333 South Main Street. Officer needs help. 211 shots fired. Unit to handle code 3, identify. Christ alive! John. Uh, we got a hold up gun sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go on through the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead from my throat. All right. I'll see if I can get in through the back. All right. I'll stay here and keep them busy. Let's go. Inside the back. Enforcement's right. Put 
the weapon down now. Car 11K, I've been involved in a shooting at 333 South Main Street, Globe Loan and Jewelry. It's code 4 now, but the suspect is down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor and the coroner. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Valdez was just driving by, and he saw the car. Yeah, something like that. Happens all the time. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. Sure as hell isn't here.
So you don't know where the kid lives? He got kicked out of his last place. He might be at his girlfriend's, but I don't know where that is. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Stop lying to me, Dewey. The thieves work for you. You can't prove that. Go ahead and try. Like I said, my tools get stolen on a regular basis. You don't want to believe me? I'm not going to say anymore. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey, and spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for a Gabriel Delgado. Delgado. Last known address has him living with a common law wife. 103 Hill Street, apartment 3. Thanks, ma'am. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talking using color, and look what we have now. Kid, drop that money one more time and you're a goner. Sorry, mister. It's just my hands are shaking. Shut up! Get the money in the bag. Yes. Yes, sir. Hurry the hell up, will you? Come on. It's goddamn cops! Careful! He's got a gun!
Stop here. They're making a break for it on foot. Just a scratch. Surrender now, or I will use deadly force. Covering fire! Car 11K to KGPL. Bristol Hotel 211 is code 4. Please be advised, code 4 at the Bristol Hotel on 8th Street. Code 4. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. All these people are vultures, officer. But you can tell me what's going on. What the hell is this guy doing? Uh, where do you see a number three marked on that door? Yes? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. So how far along are you, Anna? Nearly 20 weeks. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. It's difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. Huh. Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Nothing significant.
Doesn't give me anything to go on. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. Diplomatic license plates. Not sure this means much. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Souvenirs are a dumb move. It doesn't appear to be connected. Help me out. Anna isn't giving us the full story. You're in Friar serious again. trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? He steals cars to support you and care for the baby? How can you say that? What makes you say that? I have my own job. I work at Union Station. If I have to, I will bring up our baby. That is all I have to say to you. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. You're lying, Anna. I think you're a willing accomplice in these robberies. What proof do you have that I stole the cars? You come into my house to insult and bully me? I have known many policia like you. Gabriel wasn't at work. Where can we find him? He said he would never go back. 
Gabriel is out driving around in his car. If you tell us where he is, I will try and bring him in. If we have to track him down ourselves, it could end very badly for him, Miss Rodriguez. He is out with his chivatos, Julian and Enrique. They race on the corner of First and Santa Fe. I have pleaded with Gabriel to stop, but he would not listen. As soon as we corner Gabriel, we'll be back for you, Anna. You had your chance to cooperate. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. Papers. Do we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning? About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Pekowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend, let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General, I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Dewey Brothers. You think someone from the garage could have been involved in the theft? It would not surprise me in the least. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consul garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. I think you know who stole the car and why they stole it, Valdez. How dare you! If I was a younger man, I would demand satisfaction. And what evidence do you have that links me to the thief? Hm. And an apology is in order before I will continue. I got this gadget whiz putting recording device. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? You're behind the wheel. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? That's Delgado, right there. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. 
get in the way. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk, you're calling them. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. You're gonna lose him. Take him out. God damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. You got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That, Detective Phelps, is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. You have any plans for Weekend Liberty Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles.